So if the scale theoretically goes from heated mess to hot garbage, what comes after hot garbage? We have the Southern Elsewhere treasure map, which gives us Dragon Guard Elite, Marauder's Haste, and Sinchal Defender gear. There are books, four books that drop out of Southern Elsewhere, if you know the eidetic memory. Um, but there's no motif lead for this map, and at 2000 Archival Fortunes, I don't feel this one's worth it. As usual, I'm not going to recommend the map. Our style page this this week is a shoulder. I usually don't recommend shoulders. Um, it's Veladreth, so Cradle of Shadows. Heavy armor companion equipment, again, unless you get the exact right um, trait. And there are the more heavy armor traits that are decent. Vigorous, Quickened, and Bolstered are all pretty decent. So a little bit better chances, but they are bound. So if you don't get what you want, you can't even sell it. The Coral Hajimoda decoy for the Coral Hajimoda pet that comes out of the High Isle Public Dungeon Spire of the Crimson Coin. So not great. You need 25 of these plus 25 of the other one from the other public dungeon in order to make the pet. We have our Tales of Tribute clue, which I never recommend. If you play Tales of Tribute, you are getting these anyway. Let's go to the leads and we'll go to books later. So our first lead is the Holy Tapestry Scrap. Guess what? This is for the Blackwood Tapestry. This is a static lead. You just go to the spot and pick it up. There's no RNG involved. Why would you spend 5,000 archival fortunes on that? It makes no sense. None. Zero. The other lead is Thin Dwarven Hinges. I will say this one is a pain to get. This is for the Dwarven Scarab Pet, which comes out of um, Thalzel, which is in Blackreach. Uh, Blackreach Arcs and Caverns, if you go up here, you kill all the, what are they called? The little mechanical men. And the pieces of the pet drop randomly. So getting this one by buying it, probably not worth it unless it's the last one that you need. If it's the last one you need, then this is, this is gold. But if it's not the last one you need, and for most of us, it's probably not, it's, it's garbage, right? It's not really going to help you any. So those are the leads. I do get excited about books. This book is cool. It's got this burned side. So aesthetically, this looks really, really neat. As you know, I'm always going to get my books. Uh, the Larry Delmo is sane book drops, or the eidetic memory is in Apocrypha and it drops in Infinite Archive. On Joining the Keepers of the Dead is also one that drops out of Infinite Archive, but you'll find the eidetic memory in Telvanni Peninsula. That one looks like that, which is a fairly typical look. So if you're just going for looks and not titles, this one's pretty, pretty plain, but this is the only one I know of that's burned. That's pretty cool. And then we have our, let's see, make sure I'm not skipping anything. We have our unreliable archive map, consume 20 of them to unlock the peer into the mirror maze achievement and the shattered mirror maze face marks. So again, I submit that this week is hot garbage. I'm not recommending anything unless the Dwarven Scarab pet piece, the Thin Dwarven Hinges lead, is the last lead you need. If it is, it's gold. Otherwise, I would sell you other than food. getting the books, I don't plan to get anything. All right, so that's my assessment. Hot garbage for this week. I'm not recommending much of anything. So hopefully next week they give us better offerings. Yeah, this week is disappointment. We just ran one arc of Infinite Archive and it looks like this week Gear is dropping from Blackwood, which would include Frostbite, Deadlands Assassin, and Bog Raider. And from Greenshade, which includes Beekeepers, Shadow Dancer's Raiment, and Wilder Queen's Arch. Hopefully Filer will have something better for us next week. We'll see you then to find out.